Helen. Um, Johnny? Okay. okay, so can you tell me how you got to this film? How we got to this film? Uh, through a series of auditions and weeks of um, choreography training and chemistry, uh, chemistry reads and um, that was just, yeah. and that's just the audition process. How <laughs> we how we got to this film from from the day we were born is another story too. In the training, so which part do you mean? <laughs> we could be here forever. <laughs> well, speaking of training, um, what was it like um, on a day on the set? Was it like Training from morning till night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Especially pre production was six days a week, 10 hours a day for a month and a half of choreography, parkour, capoeira, uh, personal training. Personal training. Yeah, every day was a. Uh, Dialect class, drama class. Full on. The entire works in the five week lead up to the movie was just one big boot camp session. Yeah. Have the dancers become really close on the set? Did you all form a big group? Oh, yeah. Completely. They became a family. Definitely, and we still get together. And we still yeah. are. It's, yeah. it's that family that uh, you see in the movie was really the family that we were and became in New York and still are to this day. And I think once you've shared such a special experience with certain people, that's friendships that you can't break for a very long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does dance mean to you? What does dance mean? A lot of things. It's it's an expression of how you your feel. It's how an you outlet. Feel. It's yeah, definitely an outlet. It's definitely something that you can use as a tool to carry yourself through life. Um, Forms of expression. I think without dance, uh, for me, I was a dancer, and then I stopped dancing for a while when I just focused heavily on the acting. And then this movie has brought dance back into my life. So I don't know what dance is, but I know that without it, I'm lost. Um, it's like something within you is missing. It's such a part of your soul as a dancer that when it's taken away from you, you don't almost know how to function anymore. Um, it's just your life, you know? Mm -hmm. Dancing is music and music is life, so. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite scene in the film? We have many. So many. <laughs> we have two that we think are, are standout moments in the movie okay. and they're two that aren't actually, the three big battles are just given. They are what they are. We so. think that the Moose and Camille scene with the Fred Astaire-esque dance, it's all one shot, and not a lot of people realize that. And then we have the tango scene, which is, it's just a, it's all a different, it's a breath of fresh air. So it's, it's like, yeah, both scenes are very different, thrown into the movie amongst all the craziness, and both offer something that is so unique and, and present a different style again to what has already been so many styles that you've been presented with in this movie and it's it's just beautiful the tango and is beautiful yeah. was there one big challenge among all the battle scenes that's really tough like something that uh, out was really tough for me it was the choreography because mm. i've never done choreography in my life i grew up as a street dancer and, and uh, just freestyle so learning all the choreography was difficult for me um it's, that's why we had the whole training process and everything, which we got it all down. But I think that was really the most difficult thing for myself. Mm. And uh, funnily enough, the most difficult thing for me was was the break dancing stuff and the choreography was not so bad because um, I grew up trained dancer and so the, all the freestyle breaking was very difficult and we've just had the complete opposites in upbringing. So where my weaknesses are are his strengths and his strengths are my weaknesses. We kind of complement each other in that too. Lucky enough to have each other to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How will 3D uh, change this film, in your opinion? Well, we wanted to capture the essence of you feeling like it's live. That's the best way to watch dance is live. So we wanted you to feel like you were a part of our our crew, our house, and uh, I think we really captured that. Yeah, the 3D brings it into your lap and. It brings you as a, a part of the audience as opposed to just watching it. It's not your old school 3D where things just um, every now and then pop out at you. Mm -hmm. We have that and amongst that as well, you're just, you're engulfed in it and you're really living and breathing this movie as you're watching it. So much is going on, I know that you will have to see it more than once because I've seen it four times and every time I've seen it, I'm noticing something different happening every time because there's so much going on, It's it's just, it's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. And then just at the end, um, for all the guys and girls out there, do they have to be able to have, do they have to dance in order to get your attention? Absolutely not. <laughs> not Absolutely not. 
actually some of the, the people that, uh, that get my attention the most actually are the people that are very fun, loving and just having a great time and usually they're the people that definitely don't dance and they're just trying to and they're having a great time and, and even if they're completely uncoordinated, as long as they're having the best time and making you laugh and, and attracting your attention, then, then that's, that's the beauty of it. What about you? Yeah, I agree. I, I, uh, I look for the personality in someone and, and just having fun. Have fun with mm -hmm. life. Life's too short. You yeah. just gotta live it and feel the music. Breathe the music it. Is and global. Just, yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>